Hello everyone, welcome to this Java programming tutorial for beginners. In this tutorial you will learn about the switch statement. I have already pre-written some Java code in Eclipse, which is from my previous tutorial on formatting date time. You may pause the video if you wish to copy this code onto your screen. This is the code that I am using to obtain the current month, which I will then use within the switch statement that we will be typing. Alternatively, for the purposes of this tutorial, you could just write string space month and set it to October within quotations. This is my seventh Java programming tutorial in my Java programming playlist. There is a link within the description if you want to check it out. Here within the main method, we are getting the current date from our system using the local date time class now method. On the next line, we are setting the pattern for formatting our date using the date time formatter class called of pattern. I am using the pattern to get only the month in text form. On the third line, we are printing out the result that we get back after we pass our current date into the format method of the date time formatter class. The month in which I am creating this tutorial is October, so your month may be something else depending on when you watch this tutorial. Now we are ready to write our switch statement. First, first of all, let's remove the third line of code and replace it with string space month and set that to dtf.format within parentheses local date. Here I am setting the value of month to October. On the next line, type string space holidays semicolon. We will use this field for our switch statement. Now type switch and then within parentheses month and open and close curly brackets. And within the curly brackets I will type out the first case and then I will copy and paste the rest of the code. You may pause the video to type out this code but you only really need a case for your current month, a break, and a default. What the switch statement does is, it takes the value of month and compares it to the different case expressions which are listed after each case. When it finds a match, then it executes the statement after the colon. For this switch statement, it sets the holidays string to whatever value is listed for that case. You must include a break after each case so that the subsequent lines of code will not run. The break statement terminates the switch statement. The last line within the switch statement is a default value in case none of the cases match the value passed in. We will then print the value of holidays to our console with system.out.println and within the parentheses holidays. My result is Halloween. For the October case, we set the value of holidays to Halloween. Switch statements are easy to use and the case expression doesn't have to be a string. It could be an integer or, or another type, but must match the type that you pass in. I hope that this tutorial has helped you understand switch statements. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel, Bootstrap CSS Girl.